Hello and welcome back to Ant Oliver. Today I'm finally making a review for Ant Store since I have bought countless things from Ant Store over the time. Just to name a few, I've bought my Mesa Barbara's Queen and Colony from the Ant Store, bought my Campanotus Vegas Colony, I've bought my Lazius Flavus Colony, and to be honest, I've also bought my Lazius Niger. So all my current colonies are actually from Ant Store. And even in my old videos that are now around two and a half years old, I had also bought a starter kit from Ant Store, though that's sadly long gone since I trashed it by a mistake, looking back at it. And I'll also talk a little bit more about this starter kit because I actually misused the Outworld and Nest quite a lot, and that annoys me a lot today. But I thought it was finally about time that I made an Ant Store review, because all in all, this is my go-to Ant Store and the only answer I've actually really used. So the first thing on my list is these cork nesters, where I've both bought a set of two sets of the smallest cork nest and two sets of the second smallest cork nest. Now when I say a set, that means I've also bought the glass, even though these are two separate things, but they fit together. Now in all of the time I've had these nests, which is around a year or so, I've, I haven't really had any problems with the smallest size nest, Except for my Mesa Barbara's colony is making these weird stripes. I don't know what they are to be honest. They climb around the edges of the glass and make these weird looking things. But when they finally moved out of their nest, I could clean this off very easily just with my finger actually. So I'm not quite sure what that was. But my main problems have been with the bit larger nest which is this size here where I at the beginning put a lot of dirt inside to make the ants don't feel that it's too big and then I watered it too much. Now I didn't get a clip of this but a few weeks later I saw these mold things inside of the nest so I immediately took it out and cleaned it. And because I bought two sets I could then later put another one in. Now I again I think I watered it too much or something because I once again saw these mold things inside. And I'm not quite sure how to stop it from coming, but my theory is right now that it's because it's a bit too cold in my room, so when I water the nest, there's not really any heat, so it's just a perfect mold temperature. I have around 18, 19 degrees inside the room, and I think that's the main reason why. And now I've started to heat the nest up a bit more, so hopefully it doesn't happen again. To be honest, I would love to buy some bigger sizes of these nests in the future when my ants need it. And I would really recommend this product all in all, because I'm very satisfied with it. The only real downside there is, is that the cork nest isn't very expensive at all. Uh, even as it gets bigger and bigger, it isn't that expensive. But because you also need the glass for the nest, that gets a lot more expensive, a lot quicker. So the glass part of the nest is quite expensive. But again, you will only need to buy it once to have it for the rest of your life, if you think of it that way. Now the second product on my list is the stick fix nesters. And I've seen the Ant Store videos about them and they looked so cool that I just had to buy one of my own. So I bought the second smallest version of the stick fix nest because it would fit perfectly into my glass nest. And I'm currently trying to move my Campanotus Vegas colony into this nest. Now my problem is here that it's for me very hard to see if the nest is too moist or not too moist because it seems like the ants love digging it when I just put water on it but Campanotus Vegas colonies don't like moist areas and I, that's my theory why they haven't moved into it yet. But I really love the idea of this nest even though I haven't really, I can't really say if it works or not yet, but that will have to come in a future part 2 review maybe or just in the Campanotus Vegas colony videos. Now the next product is this mini Outworld. This I bought with a starter kit. This has just impressed me. I mean, it's not more than a little plastic box. It's a very well built outworld. You get these electrical plugs, things I don't know what they are called in English, um, that are watertight, so the ants can't get in and out of the tubing you know, because you can tighten them and then it grips onto the tube and then they can't escape. It's a very simple product, but it's cheap and it works. And if you have a small colony and don't want to make a DIY outworld, I would recommend this because it's very simple and it just works. The next product is my first product from Ant Store that I really just didn't get along with. It's this acrylic nest. And uh, the whole problem is for me is how you water it. Because there's a little 
thing under that you put in water that then soaks up the whole nest. But it was very, very hard for me to change water uh, and know when the when the nest was moist and when the nest wasn't moist. And it's not. I don't know if it's a product or just me who couldn't figure out how to use it. I also moved my old Lazius Niger colony into this nest and they seemed like they liked it, but then they didn't like it and all in all it was just a big failure with that colony. But this product for me has been probably my worst experience with Anstor, but I don't know it's, if it's their fault or me because I just couldn't really click with the product. Because when you had to change water then the ants got very disturbed and I couldn't really see when I had to change the water and I couldn't really see if it was bad that I changed the water because then it was too moist or whatsoever so all in all I couldn't really understand this product and the next product is my final nest product and this is actually from two years ago when I first bought my starter kit and these are uh, outworld with a nest built in now I completely misunderstood how you used this because I just bought it before I really did thought of it but it's very cool because there's these holes that leads to a, another section of the nest where you put the sand in that I just put all over the nest that the ants then can dig in and live in. And I actually want to buy this product once again and it was actually first around a month ago when I looked at this product and wanted to buy it again I realized that I had already had it without knowing. So well, I, I don't feel that smart looking back at that. But this is a product that I would definitely want to buy again because you can see the ants and you have an all-in-one outworld and in my thoughts I think it's a product that could work very well. And now moving on to the last product that isn't alive and it is this ant anti-escape product and I have not much to say. I've, uh, this is the product I've been using since I first started having ants and it has just worked for me the whole time. Sometimes the ants escape but when they do I just update the layer and it's more that I don't update it frequently enough then it doesn't work so that much to say it's a product that works. Now finally for my living colonies that I bought from them. Now I got a Lacious Niger colony a few weeks ago and I also made a video about them because they sadly died and the queen started to act very weird and all in all I believed it wasn't my mistake so I reached out to Anstor and asked them is this my fault or what can I do and they responded that this is uh, not my fault it isn't their fault either but it made the queen was just ill or something and they ended up sending a new colony to me and if you want to know more about this there's a link in the top right corner for this video. All in all I'm a fan of Anstor. I've used them since the very beginning of my ant keeping and I've never really had any problems with either them or the product except for the acrylic nest. Now they do sell live queens and though they don't ship to the whole world with all of the ants, some of the ants you can only buy in Germany and some of the ants you have to pick up yourself. I get it though it's a bit annoying. Example, I took a trip from Denmark all the way over to Germany to buy my Campanotus Vegas colony because they can't be shipped and that's because they are a very scared colony and they could end up killing them because they could stress to their death and if I'm just picking them up and driving carefully they can get home in a few hours instead of a few days and some of the other colonies you can only ship and get in Germany like the fire ants and that's probably because of course we don't want some invasive species to invade part of the world that may not be invaded yet. And yeah, all in all I'm a very big fan of Ansto and I'll definitely be keep using them until I find something better, if I find something better. I like their quality, I like their prices, I'm a man who holds back, I don't just buy stuff from different websites that I don't know anything of. I would love to buy some Ants Australia stuff and all that, but in Denmark we have to pay extra if the stuff comes outside of Europe, so that's the whole thing. And that's mainly why I went to Ant Store in the first place. But yeah, this has been my little review. I'm not sponsored or anything by Ant Store, though I would love to. I'm just an anonymous man saying my opinion about them, and if you have any questions about my experience with them, leave them in the comments below. And yeah, that's been it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!